Aloha. Uh, I wanted to do this video and kind of expand off of the last video. Um, and really just talk about how like how important it is to realize like what what's really going on when we can't speak about things like there are there are individuals uh, in fact a large majority of the population is more comfortable with ignorance than challenging their reality than challenging what they believe their belief systems and challenging um, their own ego and challenging their intellect and <clears throat> That's a very dangerous place to be when it is normal. That's understood to be as normal. Um, and the next step beyond that is information that is fed to us by uh, either malevolent energies or benevolent energies. Uh, but if you are still inside a no matter what the intent is if you are still inside a space of ignorance energetically to where you need your reality created for you you need your information uh, created for you instead of looking into um, how we think how we learn, how we teach, how we understand, um, then we're going to be walking into another version of the same old story, the same old songs. And uh, I wanted to go off into last the last video I spoke mostly on um, uh, how the distraction grid is tied into the intellectual grid and the belief system grid that creates uh, an overall understand or an overall separation from our true potentials, our true uh, connections. And this video, I want to go into the storylines that are being created as the next step agenda, because the alien agenda is very definitely going to be part of the so-called future um, the new age agenda is going to be activated as uh, the new whatever whatever it's gonna be it's gonna be another distraction control grid and I wanted to use this these videos these titles <clears throat> these individuals to share uh, examples of you know what it looks like the exterior space of you know what these what these topics are what this world is about and um, really just show the tone of it all and just allow people to feel because some people don't even know that this is um, that these these streams of thought exist uh, but a lot of people are locked into this uh, consciousness stream or so-called conscious stream of information called the new age called the secret space program called um, whatever you want to call it but you have uh, Corey Good who's locked into ancient alien or uh, David Wilcock who's locked into ancient aliens who's locked into transhumanism uh, and Corey Good who is this so-called secret space program um, um, I don't know what if, whatever that word is for releasing information um, whistleblower they're kind of like the mouthpieces for what what's going on in the disclosure realm and the disclosure stream of thought alone in itself is is um 
is a program of limitation. It's completely focused. It's no different than what NASA does to uh, put the understanding of the earth plane and the human uh, existence. It puts it, uh, it, it puts it, all the information millions and millions of years out, millions and millions of light years away into the alien spaces, into the subterranean um, species or so-called aliens, subterranean uh, terrestrials. And um, yeah, you can see what these topics are talking about or what they're talking about in these topics and they're locked into it's gonna start going into uh, yeah Stephen Greer and the whole UFO stuff and it's basically a science fiction movie being sold to the masses as our reality and this is basically the only um, the only uh, step they can go in reference to um, what they've been setting up what they've been putting in all these movies the UFO agenda, the alien agenda all this stuff is out there to get people to be locked into uh, a frame of thought and if they activate it as mainstream or they activate it as um this is what our reality is about then people are gonna buy into it and uh, you have channelers like Daryl Anko, Channels Bashar so called Channels Bashar Stephen Greer who's supposedly linking all these whistleblowers from within the military or governments together talking about the secret space program stuff but really it's um I really wanted to talk about the technology part of it all because that's that's the main point of a lot of these people when they talk about like the voice of God technology. Uh, it's all circled around or centered around uh, technology. Not to mention the fact that <clears throat> all of these things are based upon the way we perceive our reality from NASA's point of view, the actual physical, spherical globe planet and um, so when they talk about the asteroid belt and Maldek and all these storylines the reptilians they're using this as an extension to the next step of distraction so when they're talking about like uh, simulation theory and this is what I was just watching, the, the electric sun, I saw this one, and I was saying that, well, if they go into that space, then they can easily link that into the simulation theory and create a whole new, a whole new version of reality based upon the electric and magnetic uh, perspectives of our reality. And... These are the mouthpieces that are out there to make this your reality. Corey Good, I'll just play this one so you can listen to it. What is a star? A star is definitely not what we're being told it is. And then just feel school. Just feel like what these people are about. Um, just use your discernment and just feel like the trust or lack of trust that's there um, because when these individuals get out there and they start telling you your reality instead of helping people to question their reality when they tell you your reality they are telling you how to think they are telling you how to believe they're telling you how to create your reality which is no different than politics the university system and so on they are telling you this stuff and their only backup is the the fear program that they broke away from 
the technology that is supposedly a part of our future, our disclosure. But my main point is that they put this information and this stuff so far out in front of our reality. They separate themselves, inherently separate themselves from the the storylines that are being played out right now in this moment where they are waiting for disclosure from entities who do not give one shit about the beings that are here on this earth plane. They do not care at all. They are literally spraying in the sky, literally dropping bombs on innocent people telling you it's for freedom, telling you it's for security, telling you it's for the greater good. These individuals are so separated from their connections to source, to uh, the most high, to any kind of connection to uh, a creative intelligence. So caught up in the malevolent energies of ignorance, distraction, and uh, control through belief systems and artificial intellect that they don't <clears throat> this is an artificial reality and the people who are caught up in this artificial reality who have built a science fiction novel on top of these foundations in order to um, tell you what's going on like how you should think, how you should feel. There's something there. If they're not telling you, if they're not talking about what's happening right now in this moment and all their focus is on what could be happening, what should be happening, what uh, possibly happened hundreds of thousands and millions of years ago and what is happening um, however many light years into the future or, or wherever, then what the, the, the point being is that politics does the same thing. Politics, just like the movie scene, it puts the future out in front of you and sells you hope. It sells you an idea of the future and and what you really get is just an ignorance of the present moment and an ignorance of your history an ignorance of your roots. And this new age version of reality is no different than that. And these individuals like Corey Good and all the people on Ancient Aliens and David Wilcock, they are part of this system. And I just wanted to play this video and show those examples on that that channel of what's out there and how it's being sold because it's not just about like NASA and the flat earth a lot of people are going to fall into there are a lot of people that are waiting on somebody to create their reality for them and they've already vested their their um their ideas on what that reality should feel like and look like they've invested it into individuals they've invested it into storylines they've invested it into ideas of what change really is supposed to look like and um it's a it's a it's a vast majority that's out there um and <clears throat> not to mention the individuals who are completely distracted to where they won't even under they won't they they have never even heard of this stuff and once it becomes mainstream um they will automatically get locked into that reality and just make it i'll say oh well this is my new reality this is what they said i should really think about and talk about um, yeah, and I've been interested in UFOs and aliens for so long. Why? Why have you been interested in it? And why haven't you been interested in other things? Could it be because of the movies? Could it be because of the books that have been put that have been put out there on the top ten lists or wherever in front of your face to say this is what your reality about? 
Could it be the television shows? Could it be um, the university system pumping out this? Could it could it be the politics uh, talking about certain things, not talking about other things, secretly releasing certain things? Like it's not very difficult to see how these programs get played for us to excuse me for us to um fall into and um i wanted to play this video so you can see just feel this individual as if you were sitting there and listening to them and then just be like well are you full of shit or are you you know telling the truth or at least trying to tell the truth because that's the feeling i get as i it's like there's there's something there but ultimately, still feels full of shit. The information is is somewhat, I don't know, it could be connected to something. But the source is just, there's something missing. I don't, I'll, I'll let it play. A, a giant. And even their style, it's very like. Out in the middle of space. Right away, you've just slapped all the skeptics in the face. Looks like a play. Because they say that's scientifically proven. He's an idiot. It has not been scientifically proven. <laughs> it's scientific theory. Right. Um, and uh, what do we? I mean, we see stuff coming off the sun that would imply that it's got hydrogen. It's just robotic. Hydrogen atoms coming off, and there's oxygen and things like that. Right. When I was. Assigned to the research vessel. They're Not to mention the fact that if they were really connected with how fucked up everything is here right now, and not so focused on what the what's going on in space and all this other shit, they wouldn't be so like laxy daisy about this shit. There's some really fucked up things going on right now. People are there's chemtrails in the sky right now. There's Donald Trump that's out there running for president. Like, there's so many things that are out here going on. For these individuals to be talking only about the space program and never closing the gaps between the stars and the streets, something is severely fucking wrong with that in itself. If they never, ever close the gaps, if they never, ever speak on these realities and where they fit, because they reference all like, you know, Babylon and Rome taking over um, Egypt and, you know, the cabal and all this shit. But they never go into the depths of what that really means to the people who are in the streets right now. The people who are suffering right now on the other side of the earth plane getting bombed as a result of these... these um, so-called cabal programs these new babylon new babylonian programs they never really go into i i feel no fucking connection with that from them there's nothing there it's just dead all they're doing is talking about a fucking science fiction story that is completely centered around this so-called disclosure from these motherfuckers who don't give one shit about you. Why are you waiting for the government like Stephen Greer? Why, why are these in individuals consistently, adamantly talking about how important UFOs and aliens and all this shit is and never understanding or never even using their their brain their intellect their mind any of this consciousness to deal with what's happening on the ground level that is the most suspect shit in reference to all of this new age bullshit all of this ufo disclosure shit all these these uh these videos where they got that robot talking about you know what the secret space alliance is talking about what what uh you know channelers are talking about all that is immediately suspect when they don't reference or don't close the gap on what's really going on and i'll i'll use that loosely because 
these people think that they're really involved with so-called what's really going on when they only talk about aliens and they only talk about stuff and they rationalize they rationalize the um not talking about not referencing not making the connection they consistently go in consistently go into the stars and consistently distract you from the streets the very air that we're breathing the very water that's being put out in flint michigan the water the, the fluoridated water they just see all that as like a side effect and this is the saving grace the ufos the the disclosure that's gonna fix everything it's not it's not this is a fucking setup all of this shit is a setup all of these channelers all these things as soon as the so-called cabal or whoever release whatever it is as soon as that shit happens this shit will be activated this science fiction novel these aliens, this UFOs, this next distraction will be activated as the reality in order to create another movie, another storyline, another movie reel for people to get caught up in and give all their power away to, to give all their energy away to. This, all of it, it doesn't matter how wonderful you know you know uh, the the majority of the stuff that they're talking about um, is because it's not a linear approach you have people with malevolent intent who are doing stuff that seems like benevolent And they're putting this information out here as if this is the only kind of information that you should be paying attention to. All these individuals who are focused only on science and space, if they were to use this intellect, if they were to use their brain power, if they were to use their this compassion and consciousness that they all talk about all the time in this love and light, if they were to focus it in together right now in this moment, on what we could do outside of waiting on a power grid or a so-called power grid to do something for us, then that would literally be another level of consciousness and it will make whatever it is <clears throat> that this so-called disclosure group or cabal system, whatever they're going to do, irrelevant. It will make it irrelevant. So, if they're not speaking on that reality, if they're not speaking on that level of consciousness that doesn't need to, in fact, whatever it is that they're doing with this technology and all that stuff, it can be added, if we need it at all, later. But if we focus on the technology now, and leave the organic spaces for later, then we will be starting off on the wrong foot. We will be starting off on a broken foundation. And that's the intent with all of these um, pol political games. That's the intent with the university system. It's the intent with the new age agenda and the alien agenda because it takes the power away. It puts your... It puts your... Your connection or lack of connection um, it puts it outside of your your creative potential it puts it outside of your your moment and your connections with everybody and it just gets caught up in another another distraction these reptilians the cabal all this other shit this ain't no different than focusing your energy on donald trump and hillary clinton these are just these aliens and all this shit these aliens are just like donald trump and these channelers are just like a bernie sanders this david wilcock is just like a i don't know alex jones david ike 
They're no different. Laura Eisenhower. All this shit. These, this, I'm glad I clicked on this page. I haven't really scrolled down all this shit, but this is like the, the mother load of, <laughs> of new age, um, new age, uh, groups of people and, 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 um, topics. It is, I don't know how to pronounce this channel's whatever name, but, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to share this and I don't even want to play this video anymore cuz it's just it's just fucking ridiculous. I'm just really tired of uh all the all the bullshit that's out there that gets people distracted and gets people caught up in, you know, what what the next agenda is because right now like I said in previous videos we're eating typewriters and flip phones right now yet we have the awareness of smartphones and whatever else they're flying cars and all this other shit and that's like the the carrot dangling out in front of us as far as like what our next our future reality is about and the people who put those smartphones and flying cars out in front of us who have been ringing that Pavlovian bell for so long they've created um, a, a, a reality based on ignorance and it's ridiculous because there's generations and generations who are teaching their kids how to how to pride themselves in the ego and uh, celebrate ignorance and powerlessness and this is the next step of that powerlessness it's still you can see the trends here you can see what I'm looking at when I see all of this shit. This is just another way to distract the shit out of everybody and get everybody thinking about, you know, something that's so far out of, you know, reality that only the smartest people, only the people who are well informed about this can give us the answers. What are the answers? So, there, I'm seeing as another reason why it's so-called taking so long to release information is because they need more people caught up in this web of distraction, this web of new age, um, new age distraction, so that when they activate it and they say, okay, well, this is disclosure, guys, we're telling you what's going on, here it is. Yes, there are aliens. These people are right. Yes, we have technology. We just need to do this. We need to do that. The bad people are out, and now the good people are here. See, look, we're putting all these good people in front of you to talk about stuff. This is what they did with uh, Snowden. He was the first. He was the first one to be released out there, and then they say, "Oh, that's that's how we create a superhero." Oh, he's a good guy. So, who are the bad guys? Oh, these are the bad guys. Trump, Hillary Clinton. Oh, who's a good Oh, Bernie Sanders, he's a good guy like playing these movies. All this shit. I'm glad this is a lot of videos on here. I'm glad I clicked on this. You can you can connect the dots with. You can see uh George Norrie, Corey Good, David Wilcock, Laura Eisenhower, the Blue Avians, Michael Tellinger, uh, David Icke, Billy Meyer. Like a lot of this, a lot of these stories are um, holding. So this is the thing. They've been flat out lying to the masses forever. And they're not going to go from straight up lying to the masses to straight up telling the truth. 
it's not going to happen. They will lose all control if the ultimate truth were out there. So they, they've been going from straight up lying, which is total ignorance, a celebration of ignorance. They're going to go to a max, a max of mixing in truth, some truth with still a majority of lies in order to sell another control grid. And since we've been eating ignorance forever and eating lies forever, any amount of truth that gets sprinkled in on top of a bowl of lies will be understood as truth to a large majority or enough truth to the remaining the remaining people who are out there who are just thirsty for uh, any kind of something, just something, because we've had nothing for so long. This is why people are so vested in the disclosure program, so vested in the alien. This is why it's so people are salivating at the at the, the 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 future release of aliens and disclosure about all this ancient this stuff this technology and the truth of our reality this is exactly where they wanted people to be is caught up in this this um needing information and they go from everywhere from understanding your internal space your presence your moment your meditative space all the way out to 15 billion light years away and aliens in the future and all this other shit they play the extremes of everything and sell you a ball of orchestrated limbo and it feels and sounds somewhat truthful. We're so distracted with work and and clearing and, and adjusting and understanding our reality as on the ground level, which these 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 um, streams of thought never go to. We're still caught up in that space that um, they will remain the so-called. They will remain. Uh, <clears throat> the storytellers. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this. I'm really glad I clicked on this channel because there's a lot of videos that you can see all of what's involved here. How they go from the emotional body, they go from the emotions, your, uh, your energetic centers, Completely skip what's going on when you walk out of the door, down the street, into the supermarket. They skip all that shit. They skip all of the stuff that's going on on the other side of the earth plane. And jump straight into the stars and say, this is what we need to know in order to fix or understand our reality. And that's it. They never make the connections. Which is instantaneously suspect fucked up on so many different levels another version of celebrating ignorance and another distraction so I just wanted to share this sort of stream of thought and um, reference like the feel of what's going on and kind of go from the politics of last of the last video and the, the sections that are out there to the next the other distraction grid because there's the distraction grid of the trending on YouTube MTV VH1 shit that's out there the mainstream stuff and this is another version of the distraction this is a new age intellectual so-called intellectual sci-fi distraction that is part of the next agenda that will mix in sprinkles of truth and understanding with uh, on top of another um, distraction meatloaf and you're just supposed to eat it up and call that dinner you're like this is killing us though so anyway yeah I'll leave it here 
And uh, thank you for joining me. Until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.